And yes, I'm showing you there a baby warthog because let's face it, if you, if you haven't seen a baby warthog in real life, which I hadn't until this trip, they are seriously the cutest baby wildlife animals I have seen in my entire life. And yes, I do massive exaggerations of things these days, you know, with the in my entire life and the best ever. And it's just, yeah, because they are, they, they are, they are literally mini-me's of their mums. Oh, and I do some painting in the background of this because I wanted to turn down the orange. Well, it's red, sort of. It's an orangey red, and uh, orangey red is not really my favourite colour, so I figured I would just turn it down with some paint. And in hindsight, maybe not the best move, but hey, it's there, it's done. We move on. But getting back to the warthog babies, they are the spitting image of their mums. I mean, let's, <laughs> let's face it. Then they're, they're not pretty creatures. They they certainly are not the beautiful animals of, of the animal kingdom, <laughs> but they are so cute, and they have this. I didn't realize, but when when warthogs bend down to eat, their front legs bend backwards. And I don't know if you can see it, but that's what the little one's doing right now. But it's and and they're minute. I mean, warthogs, you know, are are probably about the size of a, a large dog. But the babies are really quite small, and oh my goodness, are they cute. And they run around like, like they're on speed or something, you know. Energizer bunny, serious energizer bunnies. Oh, and, and I know, I couldn't, I couldn't I believe it myself. I used my finger. <laughs> and it didn't really work, because as I said before, this, this um, paste the Heidi Swap Gold Paste, it's really quite thin and it wasn't spreading nicely and, and then while you see it's not really that great and that big heart because it kind of bled underneath but I fixed it up a little bit so it wasn't too bad but yeah, um, this paste and I are, are sort of friends but, but not I mean they're really pretty and it comes out this beautiful gold but I think I need to, to work, I don't know, maybe I could add something to make it a bit thicker and maybe the gold wouldn't be so gold, I don't know Anyway, so we're having a bit of a little bit of an issue with the paste, but we're using it. So, and now I'm back on my uh, kick of trying to get a cute title for these pages, and I wanted to use those Heidi Swap stickers, letter stickers, but I didn't have any S's left. So that's a bit of a problem when you have a title which says "Hello, Huss," thinking seriously, cute as this, because <laughs> again. I'm going to harp on. They were unbelievably cute. And what I didn't realise, and they told us this in one of the drives that we went on, that warthog mums have at least three, three to four babies in one litter. I presume it's a litter. And this poor mum only had one. So you have to wonder what happened to the other three. Or maybe we just don't wonder because, let's face it, I think I've said that a lot these days. I think I seem to say let's face it a lot. And so I'm going to stop doing that. Anyway, I don't want to think about what happened to his brothers or sisters because that's sad. And yes, I know the animal kingdom is really, really sad sometimes. I, I would, I'm a happy person. I want to think of the happy stuff. So I'm just going to go with the fact that she only had one in her litter. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the, oh, look at that. I got a pug on there. <laughs> well, the way I justified it was, A, it's cute, and B, warthogs are kind of like dogs. Pugs, I mean, you know, pugs aren't exactly the most attractive dogs, are they? I think I have now insulted every pug lover out there, including my daughter. <laughs> but we will just ignore that and just say, hey, it's a really cute sticker. And then I had a brainwave, well, after I stick some of these gold hearts there to add in with the hearts that I had pasted on. Um, oh, okay, no, this is not the brainwave. The brainwave comes just now. <laughs> now I'm just thinking, I need to add something more, but that really didn't go. The banners didn't go there. Then I thought, oh, well, let's try it up there. And I liked that. I still do, still do like that. So I put them there. 
but then I felt the, the weight wasn't quite right, you know, that it wasn't heavy enough at the top there, as opposed to what's going on in the middle of the page. So I decided to bring in a weightier element. Right, I'm going to get the weighty element. Oh, oh, sorry, jumping ahead. I do put these rub-ons. I think that's when I decide I need a weightier element at the top. I do sometimes think about design when I'm making pages. <laughs> Most of the time it's just like, go with the flow and see what looks good. But sometimes, sometimes I think, you know, I think of design principles. The few that I know, there, there, you see, now I'm thinking, mm, that works better. These are quite nice. I don't usually use brads very much these days. They're not, they're not that popular anymore, are they? But uh, yeah, that trusty little brad tool. Gosh, I can't remember who makes that now. Had it for years. So, and there's my little, there's my little moment. <laughs> I gave him a bow tie because <laughs> he's cute. So there we go. Added a tiny bit of journaling there, and that's my page. I do hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully I'll have more for you soon. Have a fantastic Friday and weekend. Bye.